Hello everyone, I hope you all are taking good care of yourself. In this video, we are going to talk about itching, which is a very common in CKD patients. To begin with, let me tell you that our kidneys play an important role in keeping our body clean by filtering the blood and removing waste such as creatinine, urea, potassium. If the kidney fails to function properly, the waste accumulates in the blood and it can cause harm to various organs as our sensitive organ react very quickly when it comes in the touch with the toxins like creatinine and urea in the case of kidney failure patient creatinine level increases and it leads to the accumulation of the waste as a result the skin may also contain high level of creatinine and other toxins the when the level of the creatinine rises it can result in the sensation of itching throughout the body it may affect your whole body or it can be limited to a specific area usually your back or arms itching tends to affect both sides of the body at the same time and may feel internal like a crawling feelings just below the skin moreover when the creatinine level go up it can cause problems that's why it's important to keep an eye on your creatinine levels but the question arises how do we do that so there are two ways to manage it i suggest either reducing or removing it and this is my advice to my patients suffering from ckd it's best to work on both methods one of the first step to improve your health is to make changes to your dietary habits if you consume food that are high in protein such as non veg chicken mutton fish or lentil milk it could contribute to your higher level of creatinine we need to understand that creatinine is a protein based waste material when we you consume more protein you increase the amount of creatinine this can lead to higher level of acidity and itchiness in the body to address this issue it's recommended that you cut down on protein in your diet this way you can reduce the formation of creatinine in your body which can help stop the level of creatinine from increasing however even if you stop consuming protein altogether creatinine will still exist although it will not increase any further so coming to the another method which is to decrease the level of creatinine that involves improving the kidney function hear me out your kidney usually does not get damaged by itself it's possible that there is something we need to take care of on our end we need to ensure that both sugar and blood pressure level remain within normal range to prevent further damage to the kidney in the future as you all know that our liver has the ability to regenerate but our kidney do not share this ability however the nephrons which are present in our kidneys increase their ability to function instead therefore in the case of patients suffering from kidney failure their focus should be on improving the functioning of the kidney or functioning of the nephrons by doing so the patient's kidney will be able to process more blood and excrete more creatinine and urea through urine so at last i would like to conclude that reducing the creatinine level in kidney failure patient can also reduce itchiness so it's important for us to prioritize blood cleaning to minimize complication and improve overall well being regardless of whether itching is present this can help the functioning of the kidneys and more chances of avoiding the need for dialysis or transplant i hope this information has shed light on the root cause of itchiness in kidney failure patient and possible treatment options i will see you all in the next video till then take care bye bye